So do you understand where I'm going with this whole entrepreneurship thing and believing how far we can go? Okay? Now, I also mentioned going from here to there. It, it's, 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 it's really a, a simple, rational concept in where you're trying to go, but our emotions deter us and derail us into not going the right place. Now, if you were to walk out this room right now, m most of the ladies, I don't know how the guys will feel. They may be happy about this. But if the ladies walk out of this room right now, a van pulled up, grabbed you, and kidnapped you, and took you somewhere you didn't want to go, what are you going to do? Are you going to be kicking and screaming? Some of the guys will be like, hey, let's go. Where are we going? I don't know, guys in the room, right? But the women may have a problem with that, or will have a problem with that, with someone snatching you up, throwing you in a van, and perhaps taking you somewhere that you didn't want to go. Now, would your attitude change if they dropped you off exactly where you were trying to go? Everyone's watching me like I'm crazy. That disruption will be temporary, or that, that emotional reaction will be temporary until you realize, oh, man, this person was taking me where I wanted to go. It's like the Mr. Miyagi syndrome, right? Wax on, wax off. You're mad because you're wax. I'm washing these cars all day. Then you get in the battery. You're like, oh, OK. You took me where I wanted to go. You have an idea in your mind, and you know exactly where you want to go. So many times we get stuck or crippled with moral or familial ab obligations. Because I'll tell you right now, we got haters in the family. We got haters amongst friends. We got haters in the churches. We got a lot of people that not all time with ill intentions, but don't want you to go where you're trying to go. Sometimes their own failures are projected upon you. Well, you shouldn't do that because, you know, X, Y, Z, right? Because of their own internal failures, right? Remind me of the joke of that lady who wanted to go back to college when she was 60 years old. Her friend said, Go back to college now? You should have done that when you were 20. Why are you going now? You know when you get your degree, you're going to be 64 years old? And the lady said, well, how old will I be in four years if I don't get the degree? Her friend was projecting, whether ill-intended or not, but a deterrence from where she wanted to go. Now, all this that I'm saying, as you can see, has nothing to do with mechanical or technical. We're speaking about psychological and your commitment to where you're trying to go. Because I always tell people, your money follows where your mind is most, period. Your money follows where your mind is most. So sometimes you're really battling with yourself. I know I want to go to Canada, but I'm going to get on a plane to Miami. Does that really make sense? If you get in the airport and you sit on the plane and it says, Thank you for boarding flight 1038 to Miami, and you're supposed to be going to Canada. You're going to jump up and get off that plane, will you? Or are you going to just ride out to Miami? Now, let's think about it. The plane, all your friends are on the plane, you, you, you went to high school with, all your church members, all your drinking buddies, smoke, whatever you do. I don't know what you do. All your buddies on 1038 going to Miami, are you still going to stay on that flight to Miami? even though you know you're trying to go to Canada. This is probably one of the most difficult parts of transitioning into a flourishing entrepreneur. One of the main things you got to master is being by yourself. Being a lone wolf by yourself. Because success in your own right is a very lonely thing. Especially, and I'm speaking from the context of growing up in a certain way, especially if you've been conditioned in a family of growing up in a certain way. When you're starting to transition and you're trying to do something, there's going to be some pushback, and you've got to be a leader in your own destiny to say, I've got to keep going here. No matter what obstacles or challenges arise, I've got to keep going there. You've got to be more loyal to where you want to go instead of being loyal to what you know. That's really the basis of entrepreneurship, and it's so crazy because that is the most battle of ourself. That is the most difficult part for people to succeed in entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm.